that. How are you uh, hitting people up on Instagram to try and get placements? You just networking with people? Yeah, so that's, see now that's my next step. Like, I've been doing a lot of networking, a lot. You know, 2019 was probably my best networking year, you know. I had a lot, I had met a lot of good people, you know, met a lot of good contacts. I worked with a lot of good people as well. But I still haven't had that, you know, one standout placement yet. Like, I did get the overseas thing I know you was talking about with the, the 15 million views, but that was a, that was so random. Like, that was a random story. That's cool. Like, it, like it I really was... happened overnight type thing. It was like, I just woke up one day and somebody was like, yo, you got a song that's blowing up overseas. And I'm like, for real? And I, I didn't even know. I just, popped up so you know that's pre that's probably the biggest song that i have but you know it's overseas so like over here in america don't nobody really know about it like that you know so they that artist is popping over there so as far as placements over here i haven't really got any major placements yet here and that's what i'm working on now like really really my main focus is building cam you know because cam really the way like we got yeah, what we're making right now yeah for sure what we making right now you know what I'm saying? like we record a lot we got like 100 songs on release so Actually, and what just... people don't know is like we've been doing this for five years so it's like we've gotten way better and it's like i really i appreciate what we got more than even trying to work with like little Uzi or somebody like I would love to work with them, but it's like I understand that they already been in the game for years. They got their producer, they already millionaires. So it's like really for them to work with me, like you know, I have to really, you know, really the best way to do it. Me and Cam come in together, or like me and other artists. I got other artists to work with too, but Cam is like the main one. So it's like I really focus on just trying to make sure his music sound as good as possible. You know, he could blow it any given moment. Like, yeah, facts. It's actually crazy. It, it happens more than you think. Where um, more than uh, more than not, I would say, uh, like a producer and artist will link together, and like you said, they'll just grind it out a couple years, and and then they'll blow up together, and then they're both mainstream artists or mainstream producers. Like uh, yeah, exactly. I think it was Pierre. Was it Pierre Born? Yeah, Pierre. That's what. Yeah, I admire his story. His story is crazy. And what he blew up with Trippy or something. I remember it was with Young Nudie, and then and Nudie, I know yeah. he had one big one with Trippy and uh, Six Nine, and then uh, Cardi and Uzi. He really turned up with Cardi though. That's what really got him out of it. Yeah, facts. Um, yeah, that's that's really the. It's cliche because all like I said, I watch a lot of interviews and I study a lot about the music, and that's what they always say is like you got to come in with an artist, and a lot of people take that for granted, but it's like. You know, it really is the way to do it. Yeah, it takes sure. longer, but it's, you know, once it happens, it's more valuable than, what's, you know, any other way. Like I said, I could easily, you know, get a beat on Drake's album, but that could be a one-time thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might not be a, yeah, it might bring a lot of, you know, attention to me, but it's like, if I don't have the connection with Drake, like I got with Kim, then it ain't going to really mean that much. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's Drake, and it's it's going to be life-changing, but it's like, like I said, me coming in with Cam is going to feel a lot better because I know we do it from Facts, yeah, that's true. You don't think uh, getting a co-sign like that, though, would help you and Cam? Oh, yeah, definitely not. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know it'll help. Like, it'll definitely, you know, boost me. And, of course, I want to get... Of course, you know, yeah, yeah. Drake, that's going to definitely be out of here but like i said it's like at the end of the day you know now nah, you're trying already, to be more he's authentic already, he's already up he's already up so it's like me trying to chase after that is like hitting the lottery you know what i'm saying like yeah facts the fact that he already has grammys in like he's been doing it like i was listening to Drake before i was even making it so it's like not saying it's impossible to do I, I, obviously i can do it i know i can i probably will end up doing it it's like Right, I'm so you're not closed out to the idea of, of, of doing yeah. it. You're just, you're focused yeah, on, like, on what you got right I now. I understand the likelihood of it happening is is not as high. So yeah. that's why, like I said, it's like, you know, for example, take Heath, take Heath and Block Boy. They wasn't chasing after Drake. Drake came to them. Facts. Because they got hot. They got hot. They built a sound together and Drake came to them. And now it's like, okay, now they both work with it. So it's like, it's the same thing with me and Cam and me and the other artists I'm working with. It's like, 
let's just go ahead and, you know, make some noise on our own, make these artists come to us instead of chasing out the women. Yeah, for sure. Um, just to go back to uh, working with uh, White2115 there, mm-hmm. you said it was cool and all, but it wasn't, you know, it's overseas and you didn't have stuff popping in the U.S. Yeah, it's crazy because, like I said, that's that's the biggest song that I've produced, like, so far. You know, that's the only song I got single-handedly with even a million views. But it's crazy, it got 15, it's really like 30 across all platforms. Yeah, like, once you count up the numbers, crazy. for sure. It's crazy how it is, but it's like, like, the way that it happened was so random, and like, because I be putting beats on YouTube, so it's like, that's what happened, they got it off YouTube. I remember we did business and everything, but then randomly, I didn't, I never heard the guy, I didn't even know who, I didn't even know he was dropping music. I didn't even know that was even going to happen. It just happened. But it's like, now that I go back and look at it, it's like, I had a big learning curve from 2019 to now. Like, I was dealing with some some management issues. And, like, I just did, I didn't have my business in order as far as, you know, having songs registered the right way, having my paperwork done the right way. So it's like, I missed out a lot of opportunities, like, financial opportunities due to that. Um... Also, I found out, like I said, overseas, the way that they work over there, like, they're big over there, but over here, they're not big at all. Like, nobody, we're big, them, but over here, you know, those numbers don't really matter in America. Yeah. Know, because this, the way that their streaming, their streaming works, and the way that their, uh, the currency and everything is just like, it's just really, they don't really mean that. It's like, it's that was so one much. of the hardest things I had to accept, was like, it's like, I've been thinking about this, like, the song went platinum over here, like, I'm a platinum producer in Poland. It's crazy That's to say crazy. that, but it's like, over here, you tell people that in America, they're like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, because it don't really matter over here Fine. that much. I got you. So it's like, I have to, I have to on both of you, you know what I'm saying? But I was Come thinking about that so much, and then it came, you know, as I started networking and meeting bigger people that's been helping me out with business-wise, they started telling me, and underst- like, helping me understand, like, that placement over there with them is cool, it's good for the resume, but, you know, at the end of the day, you got to remember that's overseas and that, you know, the effect that it has over there is not the same it has over here. You know, because they over there, they probably lit right now. They lit, but over here, they brought <laughs> yeah. that over here. It ain't going to mean nothing. We're going to look at them like, bro, what is that? So... Right. But that part, that part, you know, I had to start understanding, like, dang, like, I did, I got 15 million views under my belt, 30 million, but it's like, they telling me it don't mean nothing, it's like, wow, you know, it just made me remember to just keep working. Yeah, facts, and that's kind of, kind of what I was getting at, like, uh, or going for it, you can't take it as nothing, because that probably, that probably boosted your confidence crazy. Bro, I'm telling like, you, like, you're probably I on top of the world. Like, almost a year and a half, I was just lit, like, I'm like, dang. <laughs> Especially from my city, from where I'm from right now, I'm the only, besides, shout out my boy K Major, he's the only one that's really got numbers like that. Yeah. I'm the, other than that, I'm the youngest and the only one to put up numbers like that. And then the fact I did it in another country make it even crazy. So it's like, that's what I'm thinking, like, that boosted my confidence because like, okay, if I can do that in Poland, ain't no telling what I'm going to do here. Facts. And that's... When it's really my time, when it's really my time to shine here, it's over with. Like, and that, that's what I'm getting them, at, yeah. Like, <clears throat> if I can make them move over there, like, I had seen a clip, a video clip of them performing, and the whole crowd singing it word for word. I'm like, okay, if I can have that type of effect over here from Cartersville, Georgia, it's, so, it's a, a, only a matter of time what I'm going to do here. Like, it's going to be even crazier over here. Yeah, that's facts. <laughs> so but, that's what made me boost a little bit, too. Like, okay, if I could do it there, I could do it here, too. Yeah, music is so universal, too. Like, if you think about it, like, yeah, it's a placement over there, and it it's not going to help you with U.S. placements, but... Everybody is looking for like a good sound, right? Doesn't matter what language yeah. you speak or whatever. So, just if you can get someone out there that thinks your beats are good and it sounds good to someone out there, there's there's no saying that it's not gonna happen here. It's just like you said, your time hasn't come and you just gotta keep working and eventually it'll happen, right? You know you you know you've kind of found your sound and you work you've got something going. You just gotta you just gotta keep executing until it happens. Better watch what you say. I ain't got no time for the games on play. Niggas say they want it, they ain't doing what it take. The nigga, you in the way. Yeah. Got a shot, he calling me on FaceTime. Look, baby, you know that I'm racing.
to you.